You're watching Alaska's Weather Source. Good evening, everyone. Some of the bigger residents of our state, yep, they are leaning down to get the last of that grass. Why? Because, you know, winter's coming up. You got to bulk up. Thank you to uh, Brenda Zelenak for sending us that photo of this moose trio uh, bending down on their front leaves. You know why? Because their necks are short. They can't reach the grass. A lot of times after they grow up, they get too big to be able to kind of comfortably reach down that grass. So a lot of times they just fold their front legs down. So there you go. A little bit of moose trivia. <laughs> Here's a look at our current temperatures across the Anchorage metro area into the 50s. It's a uh, going to be kind of a wet and windy as we head through the weekend. Our highest official temperature today at 53 degrees. And we have seen just four hundredths of an inch of precipitation. But for the month so far, we're close to eight tenths. 41 was our overnight low. Dave was saying that, that those were cold, but I don't think it's quite cold yet. We're cooling off, but we're not cold yet. We have a big area of low pressure out into the Bering Sea. It's moving uh, to the east. We have also southerly flow. This is bringing up some very warm, moist air. There's going to be some heavy amounts of rain along the north Gulf Coast into the northern panhandle. And because the flow is so strong, it's going to transport a lot of that moisture right on into the interior. You can see it's already starting to show up as uh, those colors are enhanced into yellow, even orange. We will see this continue on into the weekend. We are also watching a couple of areas on the Kenai Peninsula from uh, Skelac to Cooper Landing, also on the Snow River, Primrose Campground area. Why? Because in in addition to all this rain coming down, there's been the release of a glacial dammed lake. So that flow is just moving down that Kenai River, and they expect those water levels to remain high all through the weekend. Anchorage, uh, we're seeing just scattered clouds and scattered showers, I should say. But as far as your regional temperatures, uh, we have 40 showing up in Valdez to Golcana, also Seward. 63, however, one of the warmest spots north into the Susitna Valley, Talkeetna there. So here's a look at our forecast, and we'll continue to watch the storm system. But it's going to take a, dri a drive south. This one pushes all that moisture in. As I mentioned, it goes into the interior, continues all the way up to the northern coast. But it is the north Gulf Coast around Yakutat. They've already seen about 1.8 inches of rain and could see an additional three to four inches more through the weekend. So that's why we say a wet and windy weekend. Rain expected for much of the panhandle from the northern sections to the central areas. Juneau, 60 for your high, but scattered showers from Petersburg to Ketchikan. In fact, Ketchikan, you could get uh, one of the warmer readings across the state tomorrow. Interior Alaska, they'll see a bit of a Chinook event with those winds picking up. The temperatures will also come up to the 60s. In fact, 64 for Fairbanks tomorrow. And even farther north along the Arctic Slope, areas of fog, you'll see winds out of the east at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Western Alaska, you'll be also seeing a few showers, but there will be a breaks of sunshine, maybe even blue sky, but rainy and windy again. As you move across the uh, Aleutians, you'll see winds as strong as 30 miles per hour in Unalaska. For the Kenai Peninsula, I'd say scattered showers and high temperatures into the 50s with those overnight lows into the 40s. Very wet weather hanging over Prince William Sound. And for the valleys, scattered showers. Even Anchorage will continue to see that as a possibility with a high temperature of 56. So going into the weekend, we're starting out with some rain, cloudy skies, scattered showers breaking up a bit on Sunday. But this wet weather pattern will continue to give us clouds and showers over the next several days. Thank you so much, Jackie.